All right, welcome back everybody. My name's Austin. Today I wanna to share with you possibly the number one tip you should know as a cryptocurrency investor heading into 2021. And the tip is this, if you buy, sell, or trade cryptocurrency, you do not have to pay taxes on that cryptocurrency on those trades. As we head into this next tax year, there is a legal way not to pay taxes. In today's video, I wanna share with you how. It's called an individual retirement account, an IRA, and it is literally a tax advantage investing tool that individuals use to earmark funds for retirement savings. So the government literally says that, hey, if you're a long-term hodler, if you plan to invest and hold for a long period of time, then we'll give you a huge tax advantage. Smart investors use this. They understand the tax advantaged benefits of this. So what I'm saying is I own a lot of Bitcoin in my IRA. It is possible. So I did take a small percentage and I put it in there. All I'm saying is there's a small God percentage bless him of to everyone's do it in the most tax worth. advantaged way. Absolutely. Schmoth gets it. Now there's many types. Not all IRAs are created equally. So in these next few minutes, I want to break down exactly what an IRA is and then discuss I trust capital. They're a partner of the channel and go over why I think they're one of the best options out there for Bitcoin cryptocurrency IRAs. So like always, let's jump in because first off, you know what happens when you try investing outside of an IRA. Every trade, every buy, every sell must be tracked. All gains must be reported to the IRS yearly. Each capital gains tax must be paid. Now there are short-term and there are long-term capital gains tax. And very quickly, a short-term capital gains tax these will be taxed as income, ranging from anywhere from 10 to about 37%. And of course, long-term capital gains, a little better, capping out at about 20% federally for most taxpayers. Okay, we obviously need a solution to all this, and it's called an IRA. But there are so many types. How do we know the differences? What's best for you? To flush out the nuances, I really liked this chart because investing through an IRA, there's really two different categories. In the first category, there's traditional, SEP, simple, and rollover IRAs. And in the second, which we'll get to, there's Roth IRAs. So with these, pre-tax dollars go in. So you're not paying any taxes when you put the money in, and oftentimes there's actually a tax deduction up front for that year. Once the money's in, you can trade as many times as you like, and no taxable event will occur. Eventually, when you're ready to remove your funds in your retirement years, it will be taxed as income. So what's the revolution here? Well, the thought is that you can grow your account year after year, decade over decade, without paying taxes on your account until, of course, you're ready to withdraw. So there is a huge benefit there if you're willing to hodl, huge benefit. And of course, another option besides traditional IRAs, there are Roth IRAs. While with one, you paid no taxes until the very end, with Roth IRAs, the money you deposit has already been taxed, meaning that you're funding this account with your post-taxed dollars. So when you eventually withdraw, you pay no taxes when you make the withdrawals after age 59 and a half, no taxes. So hypothetically, if you open up a Roth IRA with $5,000, and maybe after a few decades, that grows to $5 million, you're gonna owe zero taxes. You will not owe any taxes. Hey, by the way, I should mention I am not a certified financial advisor, nor am I a certified tax advisor. So please consult one before making any decisions for yourself. And if you're wondering, well, what type of IRA is right for me? When you sign up with iTrust or an IRA that you like, consult the professionals at these establishments. They'll help work out what's best for you. And speaking of that, for those of you that open an account with iTrust, use the promo code ALTCOIN, all caps, or just click the link down below. You will get your first month free. Try it out, see what you think. And before we dive deep into iTrust, the one more thing I'll mention, if you ever wanna withdraw early, meaning you don't wanna have to wait until retirement, usually age 59 and a half, you can. For those of you who generate substantial wealth, which obviously with Bitcoin is a very real possibility, you can use what's known as substantially equal periodic payment or SEP, two Ps. And this is for you Bitcoin millionaires who at a minimum probably have generated anywhere from 300K to 500K, sort of a level of wealth. So you determine with your financial advisor 
how much you want to withdraw from your retirement accounts early. And then you withdraw that amount every year until you turn 59 and a half. Here is a chart that I like. Put everything in your IRA, retire early, choose how much you want to start withdrawing, and then start doing it every year penalty free until you retire. Just something to keep in mind. Comment below your thoughts about IRAs in general, but let's dive into iTrust. And basically, while there's not a lot of cryptocurrency IRA options at the moment, iTrust is the first low cost turnkey place to buy, sell, trade crypto assets and precious metals inside an IRA. While most people are waiting on a Bitcoin ETF to do this, many people are taking advantage of these tax breaks now. Okay, first question, how many different types of cryptocurrencies does iTrust offer? And this is something that I really liked because from my research, much if not all the rest of the competition, they just offer Bitcoin. With iTrust, you can trade, buy, sell between Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin, Bcash, Chainlink coming soon, and EOS and Stellar coming soon. And they're always adding more based on what the community wants. So the variety is good. I like it. Also, in terms of management of your cryptocurrency, all digital assets are secured by Curve. Curve being the leading institutional wallet provider. This is heavily insured. They have gone through their security certifications. To learn more, there's obviously detailed information on their website. But generally, these are the things you look for when you're trying to find a trusted IRA. And like I mentioned, they also offer gold and silver if you want to trade in and out of that. iTrust Capital utilizes Vault Chain investment grade gold and silver held physically at the Royal Canadian Mint with ownership managed via a secure blockchain distributed ledger. Okay, next up, let's get to fees. While there's no taxable event between trades, every trade does have a fee associated with it, in this case, 1%. And from my research, most other options I saw had anywhere from five to 15% trading fees, which is obviously outrageous. 1% is very equivalent to the Gemini's or other big US exchanges. Also, another thing that I liked is there are no rollover fees, meaning that you can move your existing IRA in and out, no extra fees added on. And also just know, sort of big picture wise, you can always transfer an existing IRA to a new IRA an unlimited amount of times in your life, and it's never a taxable event. So those are the things I liked, something that I guess I was just sort of neutral on. There is a $29.95 monthly account fee by the way that is waived for the first month if you use the promo code or the link down below in the description but this basically means you're paying 360 dollars a year to keep the account going and while there are other places i saw that maybe it's just 20 dollars a month those other places sneak the little fees in in other ways and honestly i like itrust's billing style better they're very transparent up front but it does mean that this is more probably for the mid-size investor and not somebody that's just only working with a few Satoshis. So generally speaking, if you're looking for a cryptocurrency IRA, I think this is a solid option. If you have an opinion, comment below in the comment section right now. Let me know what you think. And I guess just one more thing before I leave you. I liked this sort of about us sentiment on their website, who I trust is, what they're about. I trust capital was founded by industry leaders in the alternative investment IRA industry. And absolutely, they are one of the leading platforms. iTrust Capital's revolutionary IRS-compliant investment platform eliminates the costly inefficiencies and outdated processes of previous IRA models, opening the door for investors to safely, simply, and legally move money from their retirement accounts into the cryptocurrency and physical gold markets at costs as much as 90% lower than other IRA companies. I'd agree with that. Their low cost is one of the initial things that drew me to the platform. I trust Capital's goal is to empower 10 million investors to participate in the economic growth that a blockchain future holds. I think we can all agree to that. But that is the video. My name's Austin. Let's get some discussion going down below in the comment section. What did you like? What do you still have questions on? And by the way, one thing that I didn't mention is if for some reason you needed to pull your Bitcoin out before the age of 59 and a half or any cryptocurrency, technically, yes, absolutely, you can. Just know 
that that would be a taxable event and i believe there also would be some sort of penalty involved in that that kind of thing is expected but for the long-term holders this is definitely a viable option anyway that's the video see you tomorrow so what i'm saying is i own a lot of bitcoin in my ira it is possible so I did take a small percentage and I put it in there. All I'm saying is there's a small God percentage bless him of to everyone's do it in the most tax advantaged way. Absolutely.